technically don't have enough because this is only four ounces but this is what i had left over from yesterday i know this is like like i feel like only a breastfeeding mom would know what this is all about like you have to keep this um so what i'll do is combine all of this to hopefully try to make at least five I like to shake it up to get all the fat on the sides. And then what I'll do is add it here. So it's right under the six, which is totally fine. And then I'm gonna put this in there. 
and this is his second bottle of the day. This is probably the reason why I wouldn't make it to 30 minutes because this little dude stopped eating and now is pulling on this and it's hurting my chest. So we'll see how much longer I can distract him here. But I am at almost 20 minutes. So if I could get 25, I'll be happy with that for sure. But <laughs> we'll see. This is what we're looking like. So, not as easy as it seems. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm at 25 minutes and he stopped crying. Oh, never mind. I gave him this with an ice cube. Usually we put like strawberry or banana. And he's been chewing on it because he's teething. So I'm really happy with 25 minutes. I'm going to finish here and get back to this dude. And it's time for a nap anyways. what I got with I rounded up to 26 minutes he is on the high chair now a little distracted he's a little distracted so let's see if I can put this away and I am using the fridge hack if you haven't heard of it it means that instead of washing your parts like I was for so many months at a time, um, instead of washing your parts all every after every ay que la chinga por estar apurada like for rushing that's what I get um, instead of you know uh, washing your parts after every session I'll put the put it in this Tupperware. And put it in the refrigerator and then use it again at the end of the night i wash it and sterilize it so i got about like right under six and a half i would say six and a half um so that's great actually we're just gonna use this as his next bottle i know it's a little bit more than he normally drinks but we'll see let's see what happens um so let's do this let's do this Let me just mention, this bottle is actually going to be for his third bottle. So this I'm going to give to him later, not right now. But that's how I'm always ahead for the next feed and the next feed. Oh my God, I just recorded a video and you guys weren't even facing me. Ah, okay, so um, I got this from the refrigerator, put it together. The baby is napping. Hopefully he naps. Let me try to put this on without flashing you guys, but hopefully he naps at least 30 minutes. Like, I don't even care if it's only 30 minutes. Most of the time it's only 30 minutes. I'll get really lucky if it's an hour. I would like an hour for him. Um, right now it was just so hard to put him to nap because he's teething. And so sometimes when he's like struggling to cry, I'll put him, oh, I don't wait for him to struggle to cry, but struggle to sleep. I'll put him on the boob and he'll fall asleep on the boob. I used to not do that and now I'm doing it more and more, just let him fall asleep, which I'm sure that's gonna be a hard habit to stop later. But definitely um, the teething is catching up, it's happening, you know what I mean? He already has two teeth, so it's so cute. 
but then he bites me so i gave him a little bit of blue we'll see if it reflects when i uh, finish this pump and i'll show you guys what i end up getting okay and this is going to be third pump of the day i don't know i don't know if you guys can hear but he just woke up and i'm at 24 minutes ¿Quién te levantó? ¿Quién te levantó? ¿Stella? Okay, so look at how much my milk drops by the third session. That's crazy, right? So let's see how much we got. ¿Qué es mi amor? So the baby woke up. We had to cut it a little short, just a little. It's okay, no problem. I actually don't like him to be asleep after five o'clock. It's only four o'clock, but if I don't mind him being up these next couple hours, that means that I could put him to sleep to bed a little bit earlier. But anyways. Like a peacock. Okay, so I ended up getting about three and a half right above, which is not enough for a meal. I need at least five. So I can either put this in the freezer or like refrigerate it um, and take out a bag. I do have I do have this freezer stash that like I'm trying to use up three months ago so that all my stuff is more current so i could take out a bag defrost it and you know go from there but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna refrigerate this i think what i'm gonna do is just refrigerate this and then this has been refrigerated from earlier and this is one and a half so that should give me five ounces right here these two together so i'm going to refrigerate it so that they're at the same temperature and then when he's hungry i'll just combine it and then he'll and then i'll get that heated for warmed up for him or whatever heated so yeah so that will be his next meal okay like i said earlier i'm gonna end up combining these it's time for him to have a bottle. And let's see. Oh, literally five. Perfecto! Good job, mama. Muy bien, mama. Yay, mama. Yay. Hey, hey. Dale, bebé. Dale, bebé. Dale, bebé. All right, guys. So I am going to start my final pump of the day there it goes it is 9 27 editing another video for you guys and this is going to be my fourth pump of the day it is technically since my last pump it was four o'clock so it's been five and a half hours but I will say that in between this last pump and this current pump, I fed the baby for his like bedtime feeding. So I fed him when I was putting him to sleep and then I gave myself a few more hours. So I put him to bed about 7.30, 7.40. He didn't eat much, so we'll see how much I get, but technically I still waited two hours to pump so we'll see what i get and i'll let you guys okay i am all done it turns off at 30 minutes so i always forget to like capture the last few seconds but you guys knew i started at 9 30 or 9 20 ish so 9 57 the baby's still asleep editing this video still for you guys and let's see what i got So this is what so this is what I ended up getting. So you guys know I did the refrigerator hack with these, so now they're gonna go in wash and get sterilized. 
but let me show you guys what I ended up getting. Oh, a little bit more. So let's see. Let's see in total what I ended up getting. And again, this is my last pump of the day. Between my last pump at 4 p.m. until now. So this is the last pump of the day. And I got just under eight ounces. So this was a pretty good pump. So now I'm a little worried that he didn't eat enough at that like 7.30 breastfeeding session. We'll see if he wakes up hungry, which is fine. I'll just breastfeed him. But this is something that I would like to mention is don't skip out on that night session because you can use this for tomorrow's first in the morning well for example i would have at least one serving and a little bit extra left hey baby <laughs> i'm recording <laughs> so this is a great opportunity to either freeze it for a stash later or um just get started with this for tomorrow morning and then you're not you're not having to catch up for example you're a little bit ahead so that's um i'm actually gonna put a bag to freeze what I've been doing is rotating some of my old milk with my new milk. Right now, this is a great opportunity to freeze five ounces. And I'll still have three, almost three left over for tomorrow. So I don't have to pull out another bag if I don't want to. But that's what I'm going to do tonight. So I'll finish up this video with bagging the uh, breast milk. How was it, babe? It was packed? Not tired, but... Like, like a crowd for the time being. You want to go do groceries after my haircut tomorrow together? What should I write on this? I know. Uh, pull the motherfucking oaks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, oh, what's her name? Oh, pull the okay. So today's date is the 20th? No, 21st. Uh, 9 p.m. 5 ounces. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm gonna have to put March's vlog in two parts. It's just so long. It's over an hour. Oh, yeah. I I mean I I mean you can post it two days. Like right back to back. Yeah. No, but like my thing was like I was almost okay with an hour, but it's over an hour. morning good morning it is the next day and i just wanted to share with you guys that today i'm going to actually um rotate my milk so yesterday i was telling you guys that i'm making milk like enough for the day and a little bit extra right yesterday i had enough for a bag and some i left like three ounces in the refrigerator so this is gonna go in its newest bag which is March 20th and I didn't put the last date so this is gonna go there and then what I'm gonna do today is the regulation is that the milk is good in the refrigerator for up to six months but also take into consideration how often you're opening the freezer we open it every single day, especially since our ice maker broke. 
We have our meats. Enrique has his frozen bananas in here. So we open it so much during the day. So what I'm gonna do is actually start using up what's three months old or longer since this is November and we're currently in March. So these two, I wanna kinda go through and rotate. So I'll use these up, but instead of not pumping, I'm sorry, I'll use this bag up first and whatever milk I'm making right now, I'll just continue to freeze and rotate, freeze and rotate, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna actually bring this bag down and let it start defrosting. I really love seeing like these dates and thinking like, what were we doing? Obviously right here we were getting ready for like Thanksgiving. And then like you can see the color difference too. Like look at how different. Oh, and the camera captures it way better. Give us <laughs> You're being silly goose. Look at how different these colors are. Yeah, crazy. So technically for a day, I only need four of these. I only actually need four bags that are five ounces, but some of these are six ounces, which is totally fine. I'm just going to give it to him and whatever he doesn't drink. I mean, he is growing, so he could possibly finish this. For example, yesterday I gave him a six ouncer and he did finish it. And whatever he doesn't finish, I'll put in for like his bath. So I'm only going to take out four of these. And sometimes what I end up doing is using two bags, freezing two bags, and then these two will be ready for tomorrow. Because they are good in your refrigerator for 24 hours. So that way he's getting a little bit of what's current and a little bit of what's old. Okay, 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 man. You ready? You ready to rock and roll? We'll be getting on this camera looking crazy. Looking real crazy, boy. So, I just wanted to show you guys, again, it's the next day. Um, from yesterday's full day of pumping with my Spectra. I was really surprised yesterday that I was able to pump while he was still asleep. Because I, I promise you, he smells me from the other room. I just wanted to show you guys what typically happens first thing in the morning. He hangs out right here in his room. And I'm connected to my pump. Let me see. Can I show you without flashing you guys? There you go. And I'm like this for 30 minutes. This one's my best pump because he is distracted for 30 minutes. Because he just woke up. He did eat a little bit in bed. From my boob like very very little um sometimes if i feel like he's hungry i'll feed him first and then we'll come here and then i'll pump for 30 minutes sometimes i cut it maybe two minutes early but i just really want to show you guys that yesterday was really rare and i think that's why i started recording because i was like oh, i have an opportunity real quick before like you know first thing in the morning it's this you know so yesterday when i had that moment to just be sitting on the table i decided like, you know what let me just start recording this this video i've been wanting to do for you guys before the six months is over so yeah so this is actually the norm every morning i come to his room with him and i pump my first pump sesh if you want i'll show you guys what i end up getting today and then we'll close out today's video but if you do like this please give it a thumbs up because i am just like so mortified when I edit and I'm like I really just be showing up my face like this I mean I want to start trying and getting like you know a little bit more presentable but my reality is my reality right now so <sighs> I am a mom of six months I've been a mom for six months it's gonna be fine we're going to survive. We're going to make it through. And this is the part that really gets me nervous. It's like, right now he's not crawling. He's doing a little bit of like, you know, movement. A little bit of like what his call dad calls it, Tokyo Drift. But I'm not like chasing after him. So I'm a little bit concerned. 
about when we get to that point. But we'll see. I'll be right back. I'm going to finish up here because the baby's getting a little fussy. So I'm going to put you guys right, right here. Turn this off. And I got very little compared to yesterday. But I did feed him this morning. And he did wake up more throughout the night. So it could be a possibility that he just, you know, ate my ate most of what you know I would have pumped this morning, which is totally fine. But this is a perfect example of if you wanted to create a stash, you can feed and still pump after, and then this is what you're storing, and then breastfeed throughout the day, pump and store. So I do a mix of both, you know. And even though I fed him this morning, I could have skipped, you know, this pump according to what I've been reading. Um, that, you know, if you're nursing, then skip the pump. If you don't nurse, then you need to pump. Look at the difference from yesterday. This is three ounces. That's crazy, right? This is going to go into... refrigerator so yeah so like let's say I pumped after a breastfeeding this is great because this is going to be extra for you know a freezer stash but today so I'm put this in the refrigerator put this in the refrigerator And then I've already started defrosting the frozen milk for today. And I did pick one that's earlier in the morning that I had there, which is 10 a.m. And then I did a six ouncer. And it's just from November 24th, that's crazy. And then I like to mix it because sometimes the fats get kind of stuck. But yeah, I'm gonna let this keep warming up. Um, Turn this on and then I'll put it in there once it gets hot. Put it in here once it's ready and then I'll feed the baby. Okay, so I forgot I need to close out this video. Um, where's the light looking pretty okay? Let me close out uh, yesterday's vlog of pumping with me at six months only using my Spectra. I did show you guys a little bit about this morning. And I showed you guys this morning's pump and it was only three ounces and my guess was because the baby ate from my boob and I did suggest like this is a great opportunity for me to like bag this um, and I said I'm going to refrigerate it and see what I do with it. This is my second pump of today so I'm not going to continue this video with more pumping sessions but I just wanted to show you guys. This is my pump for my second and it's way more than three ounces so it just goes to show, you know, how it can change from one feeding to the next, from one pumping sesh to the next. I did have a good meal right now. I have plenty of water in between. Like I said, that made all the difference when my milk first dipped at three months. It dipped, I can't believe at one point I was making an ounce at 30 minute sessions and this was 25 minutes. So. Um, if you guys really like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If it's something you guys want to see again or any questions that I can answer, comment down below. I'll answer it in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. I hope that this is a video that I can look back at too and just kind of like remember a little bit of what I was going through at this time. If that makes any sense. Bye.